hello friends and uh, students welcome to tp chennai and uh, today we are going to discuss uh, ibps rrb clerks prelims uh, memory based questions uh, which were uh, conducted on uh, august 17th and 18th so we'll go ahead with the questions and also with a detailed explanation so total 40 questions will be there we will see how fast we can do with uh, shortcut methods these things and all in detail we will discuss now see that first uh, four questions uh, based on uh, coded inequalities so kindly go through instructions being given instructions are being very very important because sometimes uh, instructions uh, they will change uh, the instructions too so that means say that uh, give option as one only one follows give option as two only two follows three either one or two follows four neither one or two follows five both follows normally this will be the instructions sometimes it may change give answer as one only two follows give answer as two only one follows like that so be careful first uh, read the instructions and go ahead here normal instructions only been given we have they are given four questions in coded inequalities first one p is less than r less than r equal to m equal to l greater than o less than r equal to v greater than y i already told you whenever equal to is there put it in a single box whenever equal to is there put it in a single box now see the conclusions what is the first conclusion being given ma l is greater than p where is l and where is p so p is here l is here and uh, same symbols are there so whichever common symbol is there that common symbol only will come into the picture in the final conclusion so p and l what is the which is the common symbol less than and less than are equal to less than is the common symbol so p less than l or ulta kar diya to reverse it l is greater than p so first one directly follows from the given statement what is the second one o greater than r where is o and where is r mark so r is here o is here if you see that symbols are in the opposite directions whenever an opposite symbols are in the opposite directions there won't be any conclusion at all so second one is ruled out so only conclusion one follows clear now come to the second one what is the second one a greater than r equal to b greater than d equal to f less than e less than r equal to c so whenever equal to is there put it in a single box now come to the first conclusion what is first conclusion ma b greater than e b greater than e if you see that one opposite symbols are there whenever opposite symbols are there there won't be any conclusion at all ruled out come to the next one d less than c where is d and where is same so which is the common symbol so whenever equal to is there round it off make it as a single term so less than less than are equal to which is the common symbol less than so d less than c directly follows so first one won't follow only second one follows give answer as 2 third one a equal to e greater than r equal to d greater than r equal to c less than f less than r equal to b here also whenever equal to is there put it in a single box so come to the first one what is the first conclusion c less than a where is c less than a a and c now what is being given a and c what is the relationship which is the common symbol greater than or equal to only so a is greater than or equal to c or reverse it or ulta kar diya to c will be less than or equal to a so c less than a only been given individually it is wrong right so what is the next one a equal to c again individually it is wrong but the relationship between c and a is c will be less than or equal to a or a will be greater than or equal to c so c is less than a individually given when c equal to a also individually given individually they are wrong but either of one must be right we need to go ahead with uh, either one or two option so either one or two so third option we need to go ahead so it is the relationship between a and c been given as a greater than or equal to c whenever the relationship is between any two terms been given as greater than or equal to or less than or equal to in the conditions individually they are been given greater than and equal to separately or less than and equal to separately individually they are wrong but either of one must be right we need to go ahead with uh, either one or two option in such cases hope you are clear right come to the next one fourth one f greater than or equal to n equal to o greater than p less than or equal to k greater than t whenever equal to is there put it in a single box what is the first one k less than f where is f and where is k ma k 
and F and K. If you see this one, opposite symbols are there. Whenever opposite symbols are there, there won't be any conclusion at all. And what is N and K? So N is less than K, but if you see that one, N and K opposite symbols are there. Whenever opposite symbols are there, there won't be any conclusion at all. So conclusion 1 won't follow, conclusion 2 also won't follow, neither 1 nor 2 follows. We need to go ahead with uh, neither 1 nor 2 follows, fourth option. Hope everybody is clear with the coded inequalities. My next one, uh, it's been given in puzzles. So see that what is been given. Uh, seven people uh, A, B, C, D, E, F and G lives in a building on seven different floors such as ground floor is numbered 1, the floor above is numbered 2 and so on till top floor is numbered as 7 but not necessarily in the same order. Right? So what are all the conditions being given? Um, there are uh, less than three floors above A. So it's clearly given there are three floors uh, above A. There are less than three floors above A. And the next one, only one person lives between uh, C and A. Only one person lives between C and A. G lives immediately below D. G lives immediately below D. That means uh, below D, G must be there. So below D, immediately below D, G must be there. D lives an even number floor and also being given D lives on even number floor so D will be living on even number floor and G lives immediately below D and B lives immediately above A B lives immediately above A above A B must be there above A B must be there and F leaves above E, F leaves above E, above E F must be there but not immediately above. That is the reason we are just putting some dots. So because it's not immediately above, right? So that is the reason we are just putting dots. It may be immediate or may not be. That is the reason I am just putting dots. Here and all definitely being given because immediately word being used. What is the next one? B leaves immediately above A, F leaves above E, F does not leaves on fifth floor. F is not on fifth floor. That is also being given. F is not on not on fifth floor. Second information we have mentioned. And F does not leave on even number floor. F cannot be even number also. F cannot be even number also. That is also being given. These are all the secondary informations we mentioned separately. Even first one statement, what is being given? There are less than three floors above A and only one person lives between C and A. C and A, only one person lives or it can be. So C and A, only one person lives. So either, uh, either way it is possible. That is the reason A space C or C space A like that it is being given and uh, clearly it is being given in the first statement there are less than three floors above A less than three floors now so A cannot be on fourth floor why because uh, less than three floors are there A cannot be fourth floor A cannot be third floor A cannot be second floor A cannot be first floor A can be either fifth floor or sixth floor or seventh floor only these three possibilities are there why because there are less than three floors above A so so I am just putting A can be 5th floor, A can be 5th floor or A can be 6th floor also I am mentioning, A can be 6th floor. My anything relating to A it is being given, so in the statements if you observe that one immediately above A who is there, B is there. That is the reason we cannot keep A on the 7th floor. Why? Because immediately above A who is there mom? B is there. That is the reason I am putting A can be either on the 5th floor or on the 6th floor. No other floors are possible for A. Why? Because there are less than 3 floors above A. There are less than 3 floors above A. That is the reason less than 3 floors means either it can be 2 floors or only 1 floor or no floor. No floor is ruled out. Why? Because above A, B must be there. That is the reason we are left with only 2 possibilities. So above A who is there means B is there. So this possibility above A who is there means B is there. One more possibility. Once second information filled up, you just cross it. You just cross it. Now see that what is being there, any other uh, information being given, connecting statements being given. If you see that between A and C, one gap is there, one floor gap is there. So if you take this one A, gap is there, C can be here or if you see that one gap C can be here also that possibility is also there so we are going ahead with the 
B and A, one gap, C is there. So we are going ahead with uh, one more possibility. And uh, if you come to here, A and the gap is there one floor, C must be there. C must be there. So total how many possibilities as of now we got? Three possibilities we got it, right? Three possibilities we got it. Now A and C and C, this option is also eliminated. This option is also eliminated, which is left over next one we have. So E above F should be there and F cannot be fifth floor and F is not an even number floor. Any other above G, D must be there. D must be on even number floor. So can we, you can take this one or you can go ahead with this one. So which is secondary information? Say that we consider this one, D and G. So D must be on even number floor and it must be above G. My even number floor D. So see that D can be either fourth floor or second floor, right? We have two possibilities here. So if I put D here and who is that one? G, who is that one? G and D must be on even number floor so D can be here also so same possibility one more possibility I am just bringing here C B A and D has to be on the even number floor and G must be here one more possibility we have so fourth possibility we have mentioned and here if you come to D and G D must be even number floor this option is ruled out D cannot be here because D has to be on even number floor D has to be here and G has to be here second possibility what is the next one here if you consider here where is D and where is G this one is ruled out and this one D but immediately below D who must be there ma G must be there so C already occupied this possibility ruled out this and D and G we need to go ahead with a D here and a G here so as of now all the four possibilities will come into picture all the four possibilities will come into picture what is left over we are left with only one statement that is one secondary information f and e e above f must be there and conditions are clearly given f cannot be on fifth floor and also f cannot be on even number floor now if you consider this one f cannot be on even number floor right so this option is eliminated first one is eliminated now come to f cannot be on fifth floor f cannot be on fifth floor and uh, f cannot be on fifth floor below f e has to be there that is the reason this option also to be eliminated this option to be eliminated now coming here f can be seventh floor and e can be fourth floor possibility is there yes why because f cannot be even number floor and f should not be on fifth floor so f has to be on seventh floor and e can be on fourth floor this possibility is there we can go ahead with that and the last possibility f cannot be on even number floor so f cannot be on even number floor this option is also eliminated so you are left with only one possibility the order is f b a e c d g so this is the order we are going to get so now based on which what are all the questions being asked and how to solve the questions so that we will see that now what is the first question being given based on this one four of the following five belongs to the to a group find the one that does not belongs to that group what are all being given c and d c and d immediate uh, floors and uh, e and c immediate floors f and b immediate floors a and b immediate floors g and c but they are not immediate floors that is the reason g and c is the answer so we need to go ahead with uh, fifth option and what is the next one who among the following leaves on the top floor well, who is the on the top floor f so what is the option being given third option so third option we need to go ahead with that and we'll come to the seventh question seventh question being given number of people lives above f is same as the number of persons below my number of people lives above f how many are there nil so below which person nil number are there g right so below g there is no person same like that f above no people are living and below g also no people are living so which is the answer means we need to go ahead with the g what is the for g it is been answer been given fourth option come to the next one question how many floors are there above the floor on which g lives above g lives how many floors are there one two three four five six six are there so we need to go ahead with uh, more than floor 
fourth option. We need to go ahead with the fourth option. What is the next one? Who lives immediately below A? Who lives, who is living, lives immediately below A? It is nothing but a E. Option being given as second option. I hope everybody is clear how to solve the problems uh, under puzzles. So I have just solved this one uh, with the tabular method. The best method we can say tabular method. Whatever the options are there, do mention the options. Whichever are re re not required, you can eliminate the options later. Secondary information you can mention. Direct primary information, anything being given, you update here. Hope everybody is clear. We will go ahead with the next questionnaire, next session. Our next one, uh, sequence being given and uh, based on which they are asking uh, some questions how easily we can solve these things and all we will discuss and in sequence if you observe that numbers are there symbols are there even letters are also there right so this is your left and this is your right always remember in this sequence this is your left and this is your right so whenever two sentences are there in the sequence always keep in mind two sentences are there in both sentences left is being given we need to subtract in the both sentences right is being given we need to subtract one is left one is right is being given or one is right one is left is being given we need to add and how to solve the problem means always we need to count from the second sentence remember we need to count from the second sentence what does that mean what does that mean means second sentence if it is being given left we need to count from left in second sentence if it is being given right we need to count from the right the best shortcut method we can apply in this type of problems see that what is the first question being given based on this sequence so which of the following element is 12th to the left of the 20th element from the left end of the given arrangement. Now this arrangement being given and question being asked which of the following element is 12th to the left of the 20th element from the left end of the given arrangement. If you see that 12th to the left, left is being given, 20th element from the left, both are left is being given, right? Both are left being given, what we need to do? Subtract. So 20th minus 12, how much more? 20 minus 12, 8. 8 from the left hand count from the second sentence both are left means we need to count from the left hand only so 8 from the left hand which is 8 from the left hand 8 element 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 m is the answer so it's been given as the third option go ahead with the third option clear so come to the one next one what is the next one being given if all the symbols are dropped from the series which element which element will be fourth to the right of the one which is uh, twelfth from the right end? Now, what is being given? If all the symbols being dropped from the given sequence, then which element will be fourth to the right of the one which is twelfth from the right end? Again, both are being right being given. Twelve and four. Subtract that one. Twelve minus four. How much more? Eight. 8th from the right end we need to find out condition being given what is the condition symbols must be dropped symbols must be dropped so no need to work it out waste time here so just eliminate the symbols and count from the right end which comes 8th from the right first one is ruled out it is a symbol so eliminated you just count from 1 2 3 4 5 and this is also symbol ruled out 6 7 8 which is 8th from the right hand r r is the answer third option are you clear so so removing the symbols 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so r is the answer this is how we need to solve the problem so both are left or both are right is being given we need to subtract one is left one is right or one is right one is left being given we need to add we need to count from this second sentence now we'll see the next question uh, that is uh, four of the following five are alike in a certain way and uh, forms a group find the one that uh, does not belongs to the group what are all being given 3e percentage i have mentioned here 3e percentage or diamond shape 2 and m ampersand dollar and d 9 s and uh, y 7 z now if you see this one so which is the one uh, does not belong to the group we need to see that so if you observe here 3 is there percentage is there e is there right and r diamond shape 2 m ampersand dollar m ampersand 
dollar. But these things and all, if you see, to avoid the confusion, if you observe that, three and a percentage. So first one and the last one are immediate neighbors, right? So immediate neighbors. If you take R and for two, not immediate neighbors, but M and a dollar, if you see that one, immediate neighbors. And a D, nine, yes, a D and yes. Yes, D and S yes are immediate neighbors. Y7, Z, Y7, Z, Y and Z, right? So first and last, no, first and last are immediate neighbors. D and S, yes, immediate neighbors. M and dollar, immediate neighbors. And 3M percentage, immediate neighbors. This is not the one which does not belong to this group. Hope you are clear with this one. Come to the next question. What should come in place of the question mark in the following series? based on the above arrangement so what are all being given three four percentage ma three four percentage it is being given three so uh, one is left over taken the next uh, sequence and uh, first whichever is comes in the percentage that one uh, so three four percentage and next one n dollar m so one is left over they have taken this one n dollar and m and how many are left over two are left over six d and l six d and l my alternate one they are taking immediately and l are putting on the last that is how in the sequence it is there and two are left over how many now left over one two three and eight q six 8, Q and 6 will be coming in the last. That is how it is being given. Which is the next sequence. How many to be left over? Ma? Here 1 is left over. 2 is left over. 3 is left over. 1, 2, 3, 4 are, must be left over. And it must be percentage O and R must be on the last. So which is the one in the options it is being given? First option alone. Right? First option itself it is being given. Go ahead with the first option. Our next one is being given in uh, seating arrangements. So we will see how easily we will solve the problem in seating arrangement. What is the question being asked? And uh, question being asked, study the following information carefully and answer the question given below. Seven people, P, Q, R, S, T, U and V are sitting around a circular table having equal distance between them. All of them are facing inside. Ma, all of them are facing uh, center being given. So uh, remember always whenever they are facing the center, left side means clockwise direction, right side means anti-clockwise direction. Easily you can remember in order to solve the problem in seating arrangement to avoid the confusion. Whenever all of them are facing center, remember left side means clockwise direction, right side means anti-clockwise direction. Clear? Now, all of them are facing the center. What is the first one being given, ma? P sits immediate right of Q. Right? P sits immediate right of Q. Wherever you want, you can put Q. And P sits immediate right of Q. So P sits immediate right of Q. So if option is required, we can go ahead with that one. One more option is required. We can even draw one more circle. Clear? So P sits immediate right of Q. What is the next one being given? Only one person sits between now. Uh, P and S, but condition being given either from left or right also being given. Only one person sits between P and S, either from left or right. Ma P and S, so only one person sits. If I take right side, yes, I will put it here. But uh, on left side also possibility is there. That is what being given. That is the reason I am going ahead with one more possibility Q and P. And only one person sits between P and S. If I take left side, this will be between P and S. So one person is there between P and S. On right side, one person is there. Right? What is the next uh, statement being given? Only one person sits between P and S, either from left or right. U sits a third to the right of S. My U sits a third to the right of S. Right means we need to see anti-clockwise direction. U sits, so one, two, three. U sits a third to the right of S. So S is there, anti-clockwise. So right side means one, two, three. So U sits a third to the right of S. As of now, both the options are right only. What is the next uh, statement being given? T is an immediate neighbor of U. T is immediate neighbor of U. T can be either here and here also. T can be either here. So this possibility is also there. So still we are left with uh, two possibilities. So T is an immediate neighbor of U. R sits a second to the left of V. 
my R sits uh, second to the left of V. If you see that here only two possibilities, so two spaces left over, and R sits uh, second to the uh, left of V. So immediate spaces are there. We cannot fill that one. R sits second to the left of V. So this option is eliminated. Now here, if you come to here, R sits uh, second to the left of V. So if you put a V here and a R here, it will be second to the right only. That is the reason if you put a V here and a R here, R sits second to the left of V. Left means we need to see clockwise direction, right means we need to see anti-clockwise direction. So if you put V and R here, it will be V right side only, but it is uh, clearly being given second to the left of V only R is there. So you are left with only one possibility. You got the final arrangement. Now see that what are all the questions being asked based on this arrangement. First one, if all the persons are arranged according to the alphabetical order in anti-clockwise direction starting from P, then how many persons position will remain unchanged that to accept p now starting from p we need to arrange alphabetically anti clockwise direction right anti clockwise direction you start with the p q r ma this is which direction ma clockwise direction so we are doing we should not go ahead with clockwise direction we need to go ahead with anti clockwise direction so p q r S, yes, T, U and V and V. So we need to go ahead with the anti-clockwise direction starting from P alphabetically. So P, Q, R, S, yes, T, U and V. So how many letters positions will be? Same, right? So except P, this is ruled out and we can go ahead with uh, T is there and U is also there. Same positions two are there so what is the answer we need to go ahead with option three and what is the next one being given how many person sits uh, between q and u if counted from the left of q Ma q and u left of q this is left left means we need to see clockwise direction only so between q and u how many are there none right nobody is there any option is being given any option is being given none so fourth option we need to go ahead with uh, fourth option right what is the next question being given who sits a second to the right of t my second to the right of t so t is there second to the right first right second right who is there q is the answer so q is the answer second option go ahead with that one and four of the following five belongs to a group find the one that does not belongs to the group what are all being given v and q my v and q so if you see that one one side so two members are there and the other side three members are there and the next one p and v p and v again so one side two members are there in between and the other side three members are there and r and t r and t if you take again here also one side two members are there and the other side three members are there gap and s and u s and u here also two and three members gap is there t and q now if you take t and q one side only one member is there this is the odd one out right can we go ahead with that one so t and q what is the option being given given fifth option fifth option is the answer what is the last one being given who among the following sits a second to the left of the one who sits a fourth to the right of v must see that very tricky one the question being asked the who among the following sits a second to the left of the one who sits fourth to the right of v must first to find out who is fourth to the right of v v is here right means we need to see and anti-clockwise direction anti-clockwise direction fourth one one two three four who is that one p now question is who among the following sits a second to the left of the one who sits a fourth to the right of v fourth to the right of v is p and we need to find out second to the left of p second to the left means we need to see clockwise direction one two so which is the one we need to go ahead with u is the answer so u means what is the option first option i hope everybody is clear how to solve the problems under seating arrangement we have even covered puzzles and also seating arrangement right so we'll go ahead with the next session but now we are going ahead with the syllogism problems 
and uh, recently it is been given only a few like that and all some of them got confused and all no need to worry at all easily we can solve such a type of problems we will see what are all the questions being asked and how to solve the problem uh, in terms of Venn diagrams as well as uh, analytical method also we will uh, discuss in the classroom and all here I'll go ahead with uh, so Venn diagram method and I will finish it off those who are having doubts in some of the areas uh, some deviations are there uh, as far as analytical method is concerned and also Venn diagram is concerned so I will explain both in detail in the class and uh, I will sort it out all those uh, issues and I will clarify all the doubts clear now see that what is the question being asked here only a few lamps are bottles and a no bottle is a ship only a few lamps are bottles but whenever only a few being given you are you will be left with only two possibilities remember whenever i statement or some lamps are uh, so say that some lamps are bottles being given some lamps are bottle means lamps are bottles so this is also one of the possibilities and lamps and bottles of the same circle that is also some lamps or bottles we can tell that means we will be having one two three four possibilities will be there as far as when diagrams are concerned but whenever only a few word being given these are ruled out these two options are ruled out you are left with only these two so only if a few lamps are bottles only a few lamps are bottles or you see that 30% lamps are bottles. Well, if you take 30%, if you consider this one as 30%, so nothing but only a few means that these two options only will come into picture. These won't, these two won't come into picture. Hope you are clear, right? Only a few means you will be left with only two options. Now, what is the next one being given? No bottle is ship. Well, no bottle is ship. So I just mentioned ship separately here, here also separately. So we do have other options. See that what are all the other options if you consider this one, no bottle is ship. So ship it can be a part of a lamp. Here also ship can be a part of lamp. And again, one more option you can take it, no bottle is ship. Ship can be inside a lamp, total circle. And here also ship can be inside lamp. And it is no bottle is ship. All these possibilities will come into picture see the conclusions what is being given what is the first conclusion ma some ships are definitely not lamps it is nothing but some ships are not lamps some ships are not lamps must be true in all the diagrams then only we need to move forward some ships are not lamps it is true here true here it is true this part is true but here it is not true that is the reason ruled out first one won't come into picture what is the next one being given all lamps can never be ships all lamps can never be ships see that whether you can prove all lamps can be ships so whenever it is being given never be ships round it off never see that whether you can uh, prove all lamps can be ships or not all lamps can be ships Oh, my any possibilities all lamps can be ships here no all lamps can be ships 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 no all ships can be lamps but not all lamps can be ships right no all lamps can be ships here also all ships can be lamps but not all lamps can be ships so ruled out so all lamps can never be ships is right only it can never be ships it is true only only second one follows hope everybody is clear how to solve the problems whenever only a few is being given you need to go ahead with only these two variations only as far as Venn diagram is concerned clear so we'll go ahead with the next question coming to next question what is being given all bamboos are sticks uh, no bomb bamboos is a fish so all bamboos are sticks and no bamboos is a fish so no bamboos is a fish uh, can be converted as no fish is a bamboos and all bamboos are sticks so it's been properly aligned and uh, e plus a so what is e plus a is o star or o reverse that is some sticks are not fish some sticks are not fish only we need to get the answer so that is not being given some sticks are fish it won't follow no stick is fish it won't it won't follow right it won't follow but if you observe that i and e statements as a complementary pair same subject and same predicate is there i is a complementary pair or we call it as cp either one or two follows so individually they are wrong but either of one must be right so complementary pair we need to go ahead with either one or two option 
either one or two option so go ahead with the third option either one or two follows the second option it is being given so either one or two we need to go ahead with the second option ma coming to the next question ma in uh, syllogisms what is the next question being given only a few wells are max all pillows are max ma again only a few whenever only a few are being given we have only two options as far as when diagrams are concerned so it's been given only a few wells are max wells and max this option and uh, wells and max so only a few wells are max means always uh, remember 30 percent wells are max if you remember like this it will be easy for you to draw venn diagram so 30 percent means that this only will be 30 percent of wells that is max here also 30 percent wells are max like that we can consider what is the next one being given and all pillows are max Ma, all pillows are max so pillows must be inside max so here i can mention this one and uh, this one no other go this is only the option left over so inside max pillow must be there right so this one and uh, but here uh, we can consider one more so if you take this one all pillows are max means some pillow can be in well also so that also possibility is there but all pillow must be in max here also so all pillow must be in max even all pillow must be in well also this option is also coming right so now if you keep this one what are all the options being given conclusions what is the first conclusion at least some pillows are wells no need to worry about at least it is nothing but some pillows are wells that we need to prove some pillows are wells but some pillows are wells this is ruled out right here itself we are not getting all other areas we are getting since it is wrong we need to we should not go ahead with that one so first one is eliminated right first one is eliminated because so in this venn diagram so we uh, proved that uh, proved that uh, it is a uh, wrong only what is the next one being given all wells can never be pillow all wells can never be pillow see that first we can prove whether all wells can be pillows or not Ma, all wells can be pillows ruled out all wells can be pillows no all pillows can be wells not all wells can be pillows right so what is the next one where all wells can be pillows no all wells can be pillows all wells can be pillows no all pillows can be wells is a possibility but not all wells can be pillows that is the reason all wells can be pillows is so proved wrong in all the diagrams whatever are available and all wells can never be pillow is a hundred percent right answer we need to go ahead with only second conclusion what is the option being given only two follows third option c so only two follows go ahead with that one first one won't come into picture hope everybody is clear um, we'll go ahead with the next session ma it's been given uh, if you see here study the following information carefully and answers the questions uh, the given below there are 10 persons are sitting in two parallel rows such that five persons are sitting in each row a b c d and e are sitting in row one and faces north and m and o p and r sitting in row two and faces south such that person sitting in row one faces the person sitting in row two my it's been given 10 people five in each row right so and also given first row people are facing north and second row people are facing south that is the reason i have taken this one as first row and this one as the second row so first row people facing north who are facing north this will be left and this will be right and uh, facing south opposite persons so left and right directions will change so that is the reason for such type of questions always uh, do mention left and right directions without fail to avoid the confusion in the examination so left and right directions for the first row and left and right directions for the second row first row people are facing north second row people are facing south and also given a b c d and e are facing north and in the second row m n o p and r are facing south so this is how the arrangement will be right i have mentioned two arrangements why because suppose there is one more possibility is there so i just mentioned one more right so now see that what are all the conditions being given 
B sits immediate right of A. It is being given B sits immediate right of A. B sits immediate right of A and immediate right of A means B will be here, A will be here, B will be here, A will be here. Many possibilities are there. Kindly read the next statement in such a type of cases and see that any clue is being given so that we can reduce number of possibilities or number of options. So what is being given? And uh, B sits immediate right of A. Neither A nor B sits at the extreme ends. Neither A nor B sits at the extreme ends. A and B cannot be here. A and B cannot be at the extremes. Right? And also clearly given B sits immediate right of A. So B sits immediate right of A. B will be here. A will be here. One possibility. And one more possibility. B will be here. A will be here. Because B sits immediate right of A. And A and B can not be at the extreme so that is the reason we are left with only two possibilities what is the next information being given neither a nor b sits at the extreme ends two persons sits between p and n two person sits between p and n you can just mention between p and n two persons should be there or this possibility can be n can be first and p can be next right so Two person sits between P and N. Just mention the secondary information separately. We will see any other clue is being given. So, two person sits between P and N. B faces the one who sits on the immediate left of P. Condition being given. B faces the one. B faces the one who sits on the immediate left of P. So, B faces the one who sits immediate left of P. P left side means uh, for the second row, left is this one, right is this one. And P will be here. P left whoever is there, that person will be facing B. That is what being given, right? Here also, if you take B, opposite one, he will be immediate left of P. So, P left side will be this one whenever we are facing opposite directions, right? So, this is left and this is right whenever we are facing the other person. So, so P left and B is facing. This is what being given. Next one. And now come to the previous statement. What is being given? Between P and N, two persons are sitting. Right? Between P and N, two persons are sitting. This possibility is ruled out. Because P is in the middle, this possibility is ruled out, eliminated. So this option is eliminated. So P and N, two persons are there. This is only two persons gap and n must be here n must be here you are left with only one possibility now now see that what is uh, being given who sits on the immediate left of p m sits on the immediate right of r my m sits on the immediate right of r m sits immediate right of r means uh, m and uh, R must be in the second row. M sits immediate right of R. If R is here, right will be this one ruled out. If R is here, right will be this one because opposite row left and right directions will change. So always keep in mind these left and right directions so that we can avoid the confusion. So what is being given? M sits on the immediate right of R. So R will be here. M will be here. R immediate right. M is there. This is only the possibility left over. Who is left over now? Whoa. So that means in second row we got all arrangements, right? So uh, positions also clear, only unique answer we got it in the as far as second row is concerned. What is the other information being given? C sits at the end of the row. C sits at the end uh, sits at the end of the row. Whether we need to go ahead with one more possibility, we will check that. If required, we can go ahead with one more possibility, or else so we can conclude here itself. So it is being given C sits at the end of the row. C can be the same or C can be the same. Both possibilities are there, right? C sits at end of the row means both possibilities are there. What is the other information being given? D sits on the left of E. It is being given D sits on the left of E. We don't know immediate left, right? So it's not been clearly given. D sits on the left of E only being given. Now say that one more information being given. D does not face R. So D won't be facing R. This is the one more information being given. Now if you consider, if you consider, so C is here. 
suppose say that c is here what is the possibility we will be having d sits immediate left of e means d will be here e will be here right d will be here e will be here but what is the option being given d should not face r d should not face r that means uh, this option is ruled out this option is ruled out what does that mean c cannot be here c must be on the right end only now this one eliminate it so you just keep it a c here you just keep it C here and we need to go ahead with uh, so D must be on the left of E so E will be here and uh, D will be here because if uh, E and uh, D are here D is facing uh, D should not face R it is clearly given and uh, E on the left of uh, that one D must be there and uh, it is not being given it is immediate left that is the reason this is only the possibility we are left with so now go ahead with the C this one and uh, eliminated this C is ruled out so that is the reason so you got with a unique answer only there is no other possibility we got so now hope everybody is clear with this one so we will go ahead with the question and answer session based on this arrangement what is the first one being given four of the following five belongs to a group or find the one that does not belongs to that group so what are all those o c d p n ma o c d P, N. All are in the corners except P. Right? All are in the corners except P. P is the answer. Fourth option. Go ahead with the fourth option. 24. What is the next question? Who among the following sits a second to the left of the one who faces B? Second to the left of the one who faces B. Now who is facing B? M. Right? So who is second to the left of M? Second to the left of M, who is that one? N. N is the answer. So what is the option being given? N. Second option. Go ahead with the second option. What is the next one? How many person sits on the left of N? Left of N, how many are there? Whenever you are facing, so N is here. N left is this one. N right is this one. So left, how many are there means none. Nobody is there. Only on the right side people are there but not on the left side none so what is the option being given no one so third option is the right answer we need to go ahead with the third option no one how many person sits on the left of n third option so next one how many person sits between d and c between d and c how many people are there one two three three are there so what is the option being given third option so how many person sits between d and c third option we need to go ahead what is the last one here who among the following faces a who is facing a p is the answer so p option not being given go ahead with none of this go ahead with none of this hope everybody is clear how to solve such a type of problems we will go ahead with the next session i will go ahead with the next question that is uh, based on uh, mixed word coding right so what is being given he will say is uh, coded as 139 and uh, say to him being coded as uh, 352 and he may do is being given as a code as 879 so then what will be the code of will so for will what is the code we need to find out so this mixed word coding is very easy we need to just uh, see that which are all the common words uh, and uh, here also we need to check common numbers that has uh, to be coded in a, with a different shade that's it as simple as it is but uh, don't see the positions there if it is in the first position this is also must be in the first position nothing like that only uh, take the common terms so if you take first one and two which is being common more say right say is common i'm just uh, circling say which is common here in numbering three right so now we can say that a say is being given as a code as three anything else common is there if you see that a two and three two and three there is no common uh, term and if you take one and three we do have common that is a he this one you just give it with a different shade don't put it under circle give with a different shade now come to here which is the common one nine right so here this one being given with the same shade now what is the question being asked how will will be coded so this one the code for will will be nothing but uh, one is the answer so what is the option being given second option we need to go ahead with the uh, second option come to the next one how many pairs of letters are there in the word uh, minute each of which have as many letters between them in the word as they have 
between them in the English alphabet. Ma, how to solve these type of problems? So just write it down. M I N U T E and M I N U T E. I am writing down two times. One is counting from left to right. Another one from right to left. So whenever they have mentioned, nothing been mentioned, we need to count both the sides. Left to right, how many pairs are there? And right to left, how many pairs are there? First, we will check left to right, how many pairs are there? So how to solve these type of problems? Means start with the, whichever the first letter is there, just count alphabets. So from M onwards, whichever the alphabets are matching, that will be one pair. So again, after M, you need to go ahead with I, then with N and so on. Once left to right is finished, we need to come back from right to left. So now I'm starting from M. M after alphabetically, which one comes? My M after N, O, P, Q, R. So no letter is matching, right? M, N, O, P, Q, R. No letter is matching. There is no pairs for starting with M. Next one, I, J, K, L, M. No letter is matching, right? N, O, P, Q. No letter is matching. U, V, W. No letter is matching. T after U. No letter is matching. So from left to right, how many pairs are there? Means nil. Zero pairs. Coming from right to left, we need to count normal alphabet only. Don't go uh, from back to front or don't come from back to front. Starting with E, F, G, H, I. Now we do have one pair, right? E and I are one pair. E and I one pair so e f g h i j so one pair t u immediately t after u we do have one more t u v w x that's it from u v w x no n o p no i j no so total how many pairs right to left we have two total how many pairs are there zero plus two total two pairs are there what is the option being given third option so go ahead with the third option hope everybody is clear how to solve such a type of problems very important one a definite one or two marks in any pattern of examination clear so we will go ahead with the next session and it is being given on uh, comparisons see that what is being given study the following information carefully and answer the questions given below there are six persons a b c d e and f who are all of a different weight different weight no two persons have same weight no two persons have same weight it is being given whenever such a type of problems are being given so directly go ahead with the one is greater than two is greater than three greater than four greater than five greater than six who are the heaviest weight will be first one next second third fourth fifth and the least weight will be six this type of problems always I do mention like that one is greater than two greater than three greater than four greater than five greater than six so what, uh, now conditions what are all being given no two persons have same weight only two persons are lighter than a now only two persons are lighter than a so only two persons are lighter than a means a must be in the fourth position right only two persons are lighter than a a will be in the fourth position it's been confirmed position right a must be in the fourth position it is confirmed and what is the next one being given b is heavier than a but lighter than c and d now b is heavier than a but lighter than c and d so b's position is also confirmed b must be third b must be third but b is lighter but lighter than C comma D. So C comma D can be here or C comma D can be either C can be first position or second position and D can be the first position or second position, right? These positions are confirmed. As of now, these positions are confirmed. What is the other information being given? D is not, the, F is a, heavier than E but lighter than D. So F is heavier than E but lighter than D. So only two positions are available where F is heavier than E clearly given. So F must be fifth position, E must be on the sixth position. E must be sixth position. Now we got the order but between C and D who are first and second we don't know. See that what are all the other informations being provided. So what is the next one? F is heavier than E but lighter than D and D is not the heaviest. But D is not the heaviest. Who must be heaviest then? D is not the heaviest. C is the heaviest. D must be second position. 
B must be second position. That's it. We got the arrangement. And uh, what are all the other information being provided? The weight of uh, second heaviest person is 115 kg. Who is the second highest uh, uh, sorry, uh, heaviest person? D, right? So how much kg? 115 kgs. And the weight of the lightest is 56. Who is the lightest? My E. How many cages? 56 cages. So we got the arrangement and whatever the information being provided, we got this order. We will see that what are the, what are all the questions being asked. What is the first one? How many persons are heavier than F? How many persons are heavier than F? 1, 2, 3, 4. It is being given. Yes. Fourth option. Go ahead with the fourth option. What is the next one? If the sum of the weight of uh, E and A is uh, 131. My E plus A is 131 being given. E plus A is 131. Any uh, weight we do know? Yes, it is being given. E is. Yes. So how much is E? 56 plus A is 131. That implies A is equal to how much? My A is equal to how much? 75, right? That, is, that implies A is equal to 75. What is the next information being given? And the sum of uh, weight of uh, D and B is 213. D comma B is uh, 213, right? So we do know this weight. That is uh, second highest, uh, so heaviest, 115, right? 115 plus B is equal to 213. That implies uh, B is equal to how much more? 98. So B is equal to how much? 98. So what they are asking about, what is the sum of the weight of A and B? How much will be A plus B? So A plus B is equal to how much? A plus B here, how much? 13, 173. So we need to, if you add it both, you will be getting 173. A plus B is 173. Hope you are clear. So what is the next question being given? 173, that is second option. Go ahead with the next one. Which among the following person is the second heaviest? Who is the second heaviest? D. D is the second heaviest. What is the option being given? Fourth option. Go ahead with that one. What is the next one? Which of the following statement is uh, true? Ma, which of the following statement is true? What is the first one? Only two persons are heavier than B. Ma, heavier than B, only two persons are there. Yes, it is true only, right? Yes, first one is the right answer. What is the second one? Sum of weight of D and E is uh, 171. D and E. B and E. How much is there? 115 plus 56. How much? 171. This is also true. Right? This is also true. Second one is also true. What is the third one? Weight of E is 58 kgs. But what is weight of E ma? 56. That is wrong. That means 1 and 2 statements are right. So what is the option being given? Second option. Both 1 and 2. So we need to go ahead with the second option. Hope you are clear with the comparisons. Uh, uh, problems or whatever been given and uh, how we made it so uh, directly just go ahead with uh, one is greater than two greater than three greater than four greater than five greater than six if six, pe six people are there accordingly we need to go ahead based on the number of persons given hope everybody is clear we will go ahead with the next session it is being given study the following information carefully and answers the questions given below uncertain number of persons are sitting in a linear row facing north <laughs> It's been given uncertain number of people are uh, sitting in a linear row facing north but everybody is facing north so whenever they are all facing north no issues this will be left and this will be right whatever being given this will be left and this will be right so no doubt at all so it will be clear right so what is the next one being given uncertain number of uh, persons are sitting in a linear row facing north b sits a uh, fifth to the left of e Ma, wherever it is, is we need to mention b sits a uh, fifth to the left of e so i'm just going ahead e here one two three four five B sits a fifth to the left of E. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. B sits a fifth, fifth to the left of E. This is being given. What is the next one being given? Two persons sits between B and D. Two persons sits between B and D. So two persons are gap. D can be here. That possibility is there. Or two persons are gap. D can be here. That possibility is also there. Kindly read the next statement. See that whether any connecting term being given or else we need to go ahead with one more possibility so what is being given so uh, it is being given uh, 
two person sits between B and D. D sits uh, second position from one of the extreme ends. But D, if it is there, second position one of the extreme ends is ruled out, right? Second, uh, even this one it will come. So D cannot be here. D has to be other side only. So one two persons between uh, B and D. So two persons between B and D. This uh, left side only D will come. Right side it won't come because two persons gap D is here, and uh, also condition being given. Uh, it is being given at uh, D sits a uh, second position from one of the extreme ends. Second position, even if you take this one as extreme end, it will be third end only. That is the reason this one is ruled out and uh, clearly given D sits a uh, second from one of the extreme ends so if you take this one as the left extreme end d will be second position this one is confirmed this position is confirmed now see that what is the other information what are all the other information being given five percent sits between s and e our next one is being given five persons are sitting between s and e if you consider this one one two three four five s can be here right or else we need to go ahead with the s can be on the other side now again we are left with the two more possibilities whenever such type of cases are there kindly read the next statement if nothing no clue is being given we need to go ahead with one more possibility or else we can fix it say that what is the next information being given s is not an immediate neighbor of b but clearly given between uh, s and e five persons sits between s and e one two three four five s has to be here but what is the information being given s is not immediate neighbor of uh, b that means s cannot be here yes must be on the right end yes must be on the right end and between e and s how many people are there five people are sitting right one two three four five and uh, who, who is this one yes must be here because if you put on the left hand side yes is neighbor of b which should not be the case that is what the condition being given now what is the next condition being given yes is not immediate neighbor of b as many as persons sits between e and s as between s and c my it is being given as many as person sits between e and s e and s how many are there one two three four five are they same gap must be there between s and c s and c no other go we cannot put c on the other side already e on the left side c must be on the right side only so what is the gap between e and s how many people are there five people same five people gap must be there between now s and c so one two three four five and this must be c this must be c so between how many people are there one two three four five so total five people are between s and c same gap must be there between e and s that is what the condition being given what is the next one being given as many as person sits between a d and b as between b and f but d and b how many are there two b and f also two only there so f one two gap f has to be here so d and b how many are there two gap b and f also two persons gap must be there so as many as person sits between d and b as between b and f what is the last condition being given c sits a third person from the extreme end but c is on the third person from the extreme end so this is third position second position and first position that's it see thirds are third from the extreme end means the third portion second portion and first portion that's it so these are all the information being provided accordingly we got the arrangement now see that uh, what are all the questions being given a typical one indeed right so see that first one how many persons are sitting in the row so how many persons are sitting in the row we need to count no other go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 so 24 option is there yes third option go ahead with that one and what is the next question if g sits a second to the right of yes suppose g is there and g is sitting second to the right of yes then what is the position of g from right end what is the position of g from the right end ma 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 seventh to the right right so what is the option first option first option is the answer go ahead with the first option what is the next one being given what is the position of e sorry what is the position of f with respect to e what is the 
position of F with respect to E. My with respect to E, what is the position of F? 1, 2, second to the left, right? Second to the left, second to the left, second option being given. Go ahead with the second option. Hope you are clear with this session. We will go ahead with the next session. It's been given on directions. So I just mentioned north, south, east and west direction. This is the standardization form which we need to move ahead for all the questions. We will discuss in detail regarding directions and all in the whenever it comes under chapter chapter wise discussion. So what is the question being given? Study the following information carefully and answer the questions given below. Point C is at 12 meters west of point A. But point C is 12 meters to the west of point A. Say that I will take A in the midpoint here. A in the midpoint and it is been given point uh, C is 12 meters to the west of point A. So just uh, take it this one 12 meters to the west of point A. Who is that one? C. Point C is 12 meters right. So just mention 12 here. Whenever you are mentioning 12 meters uh, the scaling must be accurate. So if it is being mentioned at 20 accordingly it must be there. Don't need to take scale and uh, so measure that one. It must be to some extent accurate so that uh, answers you will be getting will be easy. So now see that what is the next one being given? 12 meters to the west of point A and point B is 18 meters north of point A. Point B is 18 meters to the north of point A. So this one is 12 we have mentioned 18 another half so we can take it as this one as a B right so B how much is the distance 18 meters so point B is 18 meters put to the north of point A right point A what is the next one being given and point E is 9 meters south of point D my E and D nowhere it is been mentioned just keep it aside we will come to that one later there is no connecting term at all what is the next one being given point F is 14 meters to the west of point E again nowhere it is being given F and E relating to that one no information being provided what is the other information see that any connecting information being given or else we can merge it later what is the last statement or any other statement being given point D is 28 meters east of point B now we do have point B is there and also point D is 28 meters east of point B 28 meters so see that up to this one 18 another 10 so who is that one point D is 28 meters to the east of B so B is said who is that one D D is there how much is the distance being given 28 meters 28 meters have been given right now see that so anything being related to this one are connecting term so we have left over the previous statements uh, because we didn't get any connecting statements right so see that what is the uh, one being given point E is 9 meters to the south of point D so point D is there point uh, E is 9 meters to the south so D is there 9 meters to the south so this is the total 18 half of that one I have taken right half of that one I have taken who is there ma it's been given as point E how much is the distance this is 9 meters how much is the distance this is 9 meters so it is given point E is 9 meters to the south of point D what is the next information statement being given point F is 14 meters to the west of point E point E is there this is the west side and who is there point F is 14 meters so this total is uh, 28 half of that one if you take it this will be this one and uh, distance f on the west side of e so f will be here what is the distance means this will be 14 this will be 14 right point f is 14 meters to the west of point e so we are left with only the last statement what is the last statement being given f is 13 meters south of point g my f is 13 meters south of point g what does that mean so for g wherever g is there south side who is there f is there so the f is already in south side means g must be on the north side then only f will be on the south side of g so how much a distance is being given 13 meters now up to this one how much is there 9 another 4 another 4 so who must be there this must be g this must be G and this is F. So 9 plus 4. Total how much? This must be 13. 13, right? So point F is 13 meters to the 
south of point G. G is there, point F is south. How much uh, distance means uh, 13. Now see that this is 14, this total is 28. So we can go ahead with uh, this one is also 14, this one is also 14. So this is 18, this is 12. Now see that what are all the questions being asked. What is the first one? Four of the following five belongs to a group. Uh, find the one that does not belongs to the group. C and B. Um, C and B, if you see that uh, C is the first person, B as the second person. B second person is uh, which direction? Northeast direction of uh, C. What is the next one? A and D. A and D is there with respect to A. D is in which direction? Northeast direction. Right? So if you take A and E, where is E? E is here. Again, E is in the northeast direction of A only. What is the next one? B and G. Where is B and where is G? Ma? B here, G here. Again, what direction is? With respect to B, G is in which direction means northeast direction. So with respect to first person, second person is in the northeast direction. If you see the last one, F and B, where is F and where is B? F is here, B is here and B is northwest direction of F, right? B is northwest direction. That is the odd man out. We need to go ahead with the fifth option. Hope you are clear, right? With that, come to the next one. In which direction? Point A with respect to point G. Ma, where is point G? Point G is here. Where is point A? Point A is here. With respect to point G, point A is in which direction? Which direction ma? This is nothing but southwest direction. Go ahead with the southwest direction. What is the option being given southwest? Third option. Go ahead with the third option. What is the next one in uh, directions? Uh, last question. If uh, point S is 4 meters uh, south of point G, if S is 4 meters to the south of point G, G is here, south is this one, 4 meters already been given, well, who is this one, S is here, this one, S is here, so if S is 4 meters to the south of point G, then what is the distance between point B and point S, S and B, how much is the distance, nothing but 14 only, because total is uh, 28 and uh, exactly it's been bifurcated 14 and 14, B and S the distance is nothing but 14 meters so it is being given fourth option go ahead with the fourth option hope you are uh, clear how to solve the problems under directions and uh, we arrived at all the answers but the last question is being given as uh, find the odd man out so what are all the options being given p s r q m o n l a, D, C, B, V, Y, X, W, V, Y, X, W, and one more, I, L, K, J, I, L, K, J. So we need to find out odd, odd one out. Just observe here. So P, what is uh, alphabetically after P, which one comes? Q or yes, right? So we are coming from uh, right end to towards the left. Next letters and all. So P1 is the P is the first one. Next Q R S. If you take M, so N O P should be there. It is not there. But if you take the third one, A B C D. So coming from right to left, B C D. If you take V, so V after W X Y. And if you take I, I after J, K, L. So right to left you will be getting this one is not the with the same pattern. This one is not with the same pattern. M after N, O, P like that it should be there. It is a different one. So odd one, now, odd one out will be second option. Go ahead with the second option. Hope you are clear with the... Uh, so all the reasoning questions, almost 40 questions uh, we have solved. This has been uh, given in uh, so latest uh, RRB, clerical uh, uh, prelims exam and uh, go through thoroughly and whatever the doubts you are having, uh, we will discuss in, in our class also. And whatever the doubts you are having for other students and all, you can post in comment section in uh, YouTube. Uh, so definitely we will respond to that one. And uh, wish you all the best. Uh, we will come up with uh, other questionnaire very soon. Kindly subscribe to TP Chennai channel without fail. Thank you all.